Oh yeah, I have a doubt actually. So I'm writing a calculated field uh, by using the if statement, uh, like uh, if metric tip equal to one, then I'm using absolute of adjustment record count, and the same way if metric type equal to two, then I'm using USTM one. But uh, that is coming uh, at last. I'm keeping n. The calculation is valid, and the desired, uh, required result is coming in. But when I'm keeping one more if metric type equal to three. And uh, when I'm doing, but uh, then uh, distinct count of journals, uh, it is throwing an error. Uh, I'm stating uh, that uh, you know, aggregate and non-aggregate functions cannot be mixed. Okay, what is the calculation? Can you tell me your first calculation that you have written? So, if uh, order, uh, let's say for example, uh, let's say order date equal to not order date, if customer ID equal to one, something like that. So I build a parameter like uh, you know what is it parameter values right? So I here build a parameter. parameter values. Not here. No, no, not here. So first I build a parameter, then I write a, uh, then I have written a calculation. So you are writing calculation, right? First I build a parameter. Based on what? Uh, based on the field that is available in the back end. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I am so building. Can I build it on customer ID? Yeah, you can build it. Yeah. This is my parameter. Okay. So now what is your calculation? So, so customer ID parameter, so how I built is like a float uh, customer ID equal to okay. customer ID equal to one, something like that. Okay. Then, then sum of sales, something like that. No, this is not possible. We will get an answer. The reason being, this is a row level cap. Right? Uh -huh. This this should be validating for every customer ID that is present in here. Uh -huh. so this is customer for every customer ID it should be validated. Whereas when you are saying sum of sales, you are aggregating them. So this right. is not possible. So in order to remove that as well, move the sum to outside. Now what it will do for every true for every true condition for this one, it will get the sales values, and after that it will be agree. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, but it is giving error, right? For you. Okay. Uh, because wait, uh, this is a string, right? That is because of this. Now it will show that. Right? This is a string data type. Customer ID is I cannot equate it to a numeric data type. Right? Hence, it was given me. Okay. Okay. Then I think not sure. Uh, let Do me okay. Try this. If you don't get, mimic your situation so that you can share your screen. So that first thing is you should not show your company data. So mimic that situation using any super sort data or any other data possible and then bring uh -huh. it to the session and share your screen, we'll discuss. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah I cannot share good. the screen because it's company data. Yeah, I cannot send but I can actually send a screenshot. Okay. Yeah, okay, that screenshot. is a screenshot or you can mimic that using any other data source. Like you can create a sample in your personal data source, personal data laptop, and there you can show us this. This is the output that you have. Right? Yeah, sure. Uh, Let me do it. Okay. 